Good morning. Good morning. It's good to be on your radio with your integrated program, Integrated Watch. Integrated Watch is a one hour radio program brought to you by the Center for Transparency and Accountability in Liberia. Uh, it runs from 11 to 12 noon and uh, it is repeated on Sunday from 9 to 10 p.m. It serves as the primary radio based communication and information dissemination platform of Central. It is a key advocacy tool that provides essential information around the state of the fight against corruption, national integrity building efforts, as well as promotes the culture of account accountability, integrity, and, uh, um, transparency, and evidence based decision making across all sectors of Liberia. Under National Integrity Building and the Kurdish International Development Corporation Agency, the program serves as an engagement. Coordination advocates a platform that rather citizens and other Support for the fight against corruption and bad government. Yes. As part of this program, the Legal Advice Center, known as ELAC. The ELAC is an independent platform that enables citizens to freely report and seek risk corruption in Liberia. There are two issues with them. We have org.lr. Is ALAC at ntl.org.lr. You can also contact us on Facebook. The address is CENTRAC. That's seek legal advice. We have work in. Services Center is located just opposite John, the John F. Kennedy Medical Center on 22nd Street. You are welcome. Uh, these services talked about 
you can access them just by coming. And the blog also has hotline numbers that you can call to report issues about corruption. Zero triple five three nine five six two eight zero five 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 zero seven Zero seven seven six six thousand The integrity of the radio program is very civil and informative with zero tolerance on the use of effects of today. July 13, And with what we hope to see or what we want to be happening at cabinet, repeat as this. Or going forward, all of the, the different marks, the head of different marks or cabinet members, they have let them do periodic work plan of what they will deliver in the course of a period. In a, in a 
to a, in a given period. And every cabinet meeting, I don't know how many times you can have a cabinet meeting, whatever schedule you have for cabinet meeting. Let these officials be made to do PowerPoint presentation following everything that they have done. Indicating all that they have done to show that we were given this tax to perform over the period we're supposed to do the, for instance, the Ministry of Polo Works. The Ministry of Polo Works will say we're supposed to construct walls from this point to this point. This is what we've done. These are the challenges that we've had. And these are the the, the, the recommendations that we are making, and here is the way forward. With that, we will now see, we will see sense and seriousness into service delivery. With so one period, able to initiate the power review, unity and the reporting. Is it the passport scandal? Is, it, is he going to be reporting something on that? What is the, the, the Minister of Transport going to be reporting? Is it the continuous corruption and allegations of corruption and people being bribed, paying bribed, or made to pay bribe in accessing services? Are those things going to be the ones that they are going to be reporting on? What the Minister of Health is going to be reporting on? Are they going to be talking about what, what's happening with the resources that have been generated from from, from from COVID-19 testing. What are these, these cabinet ministers reporting, Your Excellency? These are things we want, we want to, that is the reason why we, we, we have been keen on not just putting out agenda of what's going to be happening at the cabinet retreat, mostly covering sport activity and on outdoor activity. What we want to see is what's going to come out of the cabinet retreat. What do we expect out of the cabinet retreat? Do we expect that these people will have serious things that they have to perform within a given period, especially with the, 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 over the next one or, or, or fiscal period or whatever time remaining for them? We want to see clear deliverables, clear deliverables that they're going to achieve over the period and what timeline to, to target to achieve those deliverables. Those, those are things we want to see and then how we're going to track these deliverables. That's what we want to see out of coming out of the cabinet. I mean, the agenda said nothing. I mean, we don't want to see agenda. We want to, the, the those who are communicating about cabinet retreat supposed to be telling us about what are the tangible things that will be coming out of the what we expect to come out. What the expectation? What, what do we expect to come out of the cabinet retreat? Now that is going on, we want to see what these ministers are saying what have they achieved what do they have what, what do they have are challenges and what are they representing? what's the way forward what are the way forward they are presenting that's why we want to see for all of you whether ministry of information the president office all of those who are, who are tasked with that responsibility of communicating what's happening at the cabinet retreat we don't want to see i mean people standing and pay the outcome what is coming out of the meeting? What are the people reporting? What are they recommending? What are they, what are the way forward they are presenting for us to build this country and, and make sure that service delivery is to the best? That's what we want to see, Your Excellency. We hope that you want to force and make sure that you enforce that and tell your ministers to do the to, to do the default thing so that we see these things, these things is coming out of the cabinet. Thank you so much. Your Excellency, like we said, um, we're going to leave here at that. And we're going to leave all other segments of the program. 
And uh, like we said uh, initially, we are hosting guests from our integrity clubs, our means, the Center for Transparency and Accountability in Liberia through the National Integrity Building Anti-Corruption Program established integrity clubs at four universities, like I said earlier. And then we have, we were able to coordinate the establishment of a joint civil society anti-corruption initiative. So we having a guest in studio, we're going to take a break and we'll come back to go over to our guests so that we can begin our discussion. Let's take a technical break. Let's take a break. Thanks for really joining us. Uh, if you are just joining us, the program is Integrity Watch. It is a one hour radio program brought to you by the Center for Transparency and Accountability in Liberia. Center is the national chapter of Transparency International. So today we have in studio, like we said earlier, Perkins E.T. Boy. He's from the University of Liberia, the Integrity Club, and a member of the Integrity Club. And uh, Perkins, we want to say to you, welcome to Welcome to studio. Well, thank you so much. Yep, for added, you know, joining you today and on this uh, very unique program. Uh, the program has actually been reinforcing Center's program for transparency and accountability. And we are the university, like you said, represents our uh, Center or uh, University. For the city of Liberia's chapter, and we've been making a lot of uh, engagements as uh, a program that is managed by the Brennan. Ms. M. Taylor, she's one of the leaders. Good morning, Good the Polytechnic University, treasurer of the Art Club, Integrity mm -hmm. Club, and I'm so glad to be a participant of this unique conversation that we'll be having today. <laughs> All right. So, uh, okay, Chris, like we said, center, what we do at center, we, we, we do mentorship and we try to build people up. We want to build people's self-confidence. 
So from time to time, people who have not had engagements with media activities, especially radio appearances, we bring them on the radio so that we can build that self-confidence in them. Chris being one of the persons who have come for the first time mm -hmm. to speak to. <laughs> To speak to you out there. So now let's go to let's begin to Perkins. Perkins, what's has what has what has been the activities that you've been doing in Integrity Club? Yeah, thank you so much again. And normally at Integrity Club, what we do we um submit plans of action uh -huh. to be uh, carried out by our membership. So as for the UL chapter, what we did is the month, which was uh, the month of June, uh -huh. and we had to visit uh, several institutions. Uh, about four institutions and we also uh, uh, visited a let's say the the christian association of the blind okay. to include uh special schools okay. so Um, um, e. Glenn taught me elementary school, okay. somewhere around the, the I think fourth street or so. Okay. Yeah, and we also visited the Don Bosco Technical School on Eighth Street, okay. and we visited the Apostle students and to to first mm -hmm. and especially at the level of students because these are people that, that are also. Yeah, people that are prompt to and you know um uh, um let's say extortion okay. uh, some teachers request for me. And and for money okay. in order to get a better grace, and and um, sometimes uh, our females to a victim um, of, of a teacher requesting for sex. For grace, so uh, I think it's in that called that sex, uh, sex extortion. Yeah. Yes, yeah, sex extortion. So um, we use the program, the engagement, to actually educate um, 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 uh, students and you know, all from a from a lower stage in order to to have a better society tomorrow that we actually trust on integrity. So as far as it is that um, some people for you know because these are all part of our life and that teacher. It's not in class of the of the you know accountable. And also as female students, you are not good. You are not in school for teachers to harass you, for example. Yeah. So but if you are not aware mm -hmm. of this information, they they then uh uh taught then Elementary school, okay. We're telling us to do the whole government, uh, accountable for and no better learning. Conditions, okay. right? Better learning uh, environment, opportunities. So, and as well to the um, Christian Association of the Blind, um, that's a special schools for visually impaired students. 
Okay. Yeah, so it's used to breed uh students on how to use uh visual in or uh, impair material, materials, material, material, yeah, yeah, and other things. So one of one of the things is that students with visual impairment has been having some problems with uh materials mm -hmm. and so like the um Yeah, <laughs> the money left us, so the money wasn't refunded to them. Okay. And um, students, a uh, lot of things were discussed at the orange. Wow. Most of them needed the corruption beneath the then say corruption cannot be stopped. So they defended that statement that corruption can be stopped. So say corruption can be stopped. And we said that corruption can be stopped if you as a human being set up your integrity high. Set up value high be truthful to yourself and be truthful to whosoever that is leading you go to me things you have to look at the future don't if you don't want to see the change but you don't want to be the change oh, yeah. that's it and you can like of uh say for example if you are a father you want your child to get good grades but you're not helping your child to study you will not see no good grades and that's it. and the outreaches are very wonderful Great. It was great. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, so just talk, tell because you're talking about plans. So, how do you go about with your activity? Do you go randomly and just go anywhere? How do you do it? Do you have a plan that you have to follow in within a given period? Yeah, we have a plan. Okay. So you are develop the, the art club members develop a action plan, plan, action plan that yeah. you have yes. and you've already executed that already. And that's yes. why you report. And now you are in reporting period. Right? Yeah, yeah. That's my understanding. Yeah. Exactly. So how far we go with the reports? Uh, I think just the four for for the four schools that we visited, the total amount of students that we have pledges to them. Yeah, integrity pledges. Yeah, integrity pledges. Okay. And 300, 18 persons fill in the pledges wow. and they were honest to themselves. But 118 males. It appears that like more females uh, are engaged. Yeah, because more females want to oh, okay. so one is a document that we allow people to voluntarily commit themselves to signing and committing themselves to fight corruption agreeing to join the fight against corruption so that we all can make like you a better place so that the change that you want like you said it must start with you you are the change that you are looking around
So we one thing that struck my attention was a plan that will have to go out and execute the plan. After executing the plan, they come back and, and do a report. That's what we say initially. That's what we're calling on our government to do so that we can have people to account. So they are accountable. They must account for whatever they do. When they go out and do engagement, they don't just go out randomly and just go out and do engagement. They will do the engagement to target the areas and the, after the engagement, they come back and then they have to compile report so that we can do this together. So like I said, we have in the studio here, civil society, local They've been engaging into different activities as well. So what to talk about, we talk a little bit about things that they've been doing. And uh, the chairman of the Joint Civil Society anti corruption Initiative is Amos Kamukai. Am I right? Samukai. Samukai. Amos Samukai. Amos. They can talk a bit about their activities. Amos, welcome. Thank you so much for having us here. And thank you for those who are listening across the video. And let's hear you, Das. Thank you for the introduction already made. I'm Dax Elliot, and I hope everybody is glued listening to this particular in and let the radio show and let it be interesting because uh, we are talking about corruption. And, and it's important that you listen so that you get equipped to join the fight against corruption. So uh, our work cuts across different sectors. So we work with students. You just listen to the students. The students are engaging with students at different uh, high schools. And then the CBOs and CSOs, they have their own audiences that they can engage. So we're engaging them, and they are doing different activities as well so that we all can join the fight against corruption. So why are you with me? You are out there. You can join this effort and so that make life you a better place, make life you a livable country that everyone can enjoy its resources wonderful resources together. So Amos, let's go, let's get the ball rolling. What are, what are then the activities of research? Okay, thank you so much. The Joint Civil Society Anti-Corruption Initiative have been involved in fourth activities for the past few months. And then, um, Recently, we we got ourselves in house since our common corruption issue. So we have been doing a whole quite a lot for the past few months. Okay, so maybe we can go to the numbers, the number of persons that we've we've engaged. If we have that, okay. Let me start with uh, what we have been able to do at the community level. Yeah. Now, for the past uh, our June and this month July. We uh, had uh, an awareness to uh, 540, specifically the Peace Island, mm -hmm. wherein we created a platform to educate citizens on how to fight corruption, how to prevent it, and how to report it as well. So that platform was attended, and we spent a couple of times there. So we also went to Water Center, the famous Water Center. In fact, it is interesting to know that at Water Center, the, 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 the guys at the place were poor enough to tell us that we shouldn't discuss plant, uh, corruption issues in that building because corruption cannot be found at Water Center. <laughs> so we should rather be discussing this issue of corruption at the legislative building, at the Senate or the, the House of Representatives. So you see, our engagement at Water Center was actually very fruitful and it was very, very participatory because everybody gave their point of view. Why do they think we should not discuss corruption at their platform or at their environment? Also, they were telling us some of the factors that are, 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 are enforcing or increasing corruption on a high level, on a daily basis. And also, they, they just give their point of view. Besides then, we also came down to Dipuri, uh, Dipuri, uh, the voice of the Voiceless Center, Intellectual Forum, who also engaged with a couple of young people at, at that platform. And we also uh, create awareness. We make them to understand the high level of corruption in our country. How can they prevent it? And how can they contribute to fight 
uh, mitigating this corrupt uh, activities in our country. And then uh, besides the community level, we also been engaged with the House of the the representative and that of the Senate. Since May 31st, it will interest you to know that since we submitted the petition, I'm sure it have not even or uh, 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 or leave the, the, the office of the chair on claims and petition, not to talk about it going to committee section, not even to talk about it to put it on the agenda for discussion. We have been there for the past one month engaging with an individual lawmaker from office to office to find out whether they have ever seen this uh, piece of document that was submitted to me and we interest you to know that a couple of them have said no. Okay, but then you have you reached to the chair of Queen's petition? No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, that is never in office. I must express my disappointment. Go ahead. I really use this medium to express my disappointment. Firstly, I must appreciate the level of you know uh, 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 work, uh, you know cooperation that we have been receiving from the ordinary people who are very much affected by this corruption thing we're talking about. They have been very welcoming to Josa. All of those activities, our community engagements, our engagement with the, the churches, the mosques, they have been very welcoming. And we want to say thank you, a big <coughs> thank you to all of them for the way they gave themselves to us, you know, as we go to do about our engagement with them. But our major disappointment, uh, Azuta, is from the legislature. Okay. That house, I have now come to take as a fact that that particular, particular place is the the bedroom of what we call corruption in this particular in this country. country the bedroom those guys there they are willing to do nothing when it comes to corruption and it is very much deplorable how can we have people making laws they don't want to live by the laws they make created institutions to fight corruption we go there with simple bills gentlemen since the 31st of may this particular petition was submitted we've been coming on the rain, what are the rain sun? We come in since we entered July. You see, the rain are falling, we've been going and engaging them every time we go there. They will just be, I mean, you will get attention from here. The other men will tell you this, but there's absolutely nothing being done towards our petition. We went to the clerk office, we collected some of the agenda. Surprisingly, we can't find anything appertaining our bills. We submitted. What's going have, on? You, have you follow up to know whether I know at um. At some points or points that we raised in the petition have been acted upon, like in the, for instance, those bills that we you talked about in your petition. Nothing absolutely have there, have there been any action taken on any of them? Nothing absolutely has been done towards the particular bills we submitted, except for the Senate acting in her own wisdom to reduce the time for a public official to leave office. Yeah. yeah, our petition talks about ten point one. You must declare asset the current one say. We are saying, as we be declared that ready to the LACC so that you tell Investigation to uh, to send you part that the information provided is true and nothing but the truth. Okay. But that been done. No, follow-ups with this lawmakers and having engagements with individually with them individually 
has there been a point where you're supposed okay, to be the was the audience? I mean, no, so no. you see, from the engagement with her, or tempted in such a way, in one of our conversations with them, they said that they are thinking if they should give them the prosecutorial power, then they should withdraw the tenure from them. We have been like, like, like going back and forth on this kind of a lobby issue. It's, it's pure negotiation. We have been doing this kind of a conversation. Then the other bill that was suggested that should be passed that has to do with our doing away with the study of limitation. Another lawmaker look at it from the uh, background of, of, of legal implication. He says that if we remove the statute of limitation and you are in that type of corruption issue, and that case has not been presented to court for like 50, 100 years, you will still be an inductee. You look at it in such a way that your name will also will be at that kind of a negative or uh, perspective out there, even though they could have not proven you guilty or not guilty. But then what we were saying was that this issue of, of giving LACC the prosecutorial power and removing the, 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 the statute of limitation and creating the, the, the whatever has to do to deal with corruption cases uh, uh, effectively. Uh, all this be a complementary bill. Now, if you have the court established to deal with corruption cases, you will not have people wasting their time for two, three, four, five years, and they are not trying in court if they are impacted. So we are saying that if the statute of limitation is removed and you have the court to deal with corruption cases, and then someone is indicted in less than two or three months, the person is in court. If they are proven guilty or not guilty, the law will take it course. So he was saying that with that kind of a, a, a bill, then it is prudent enough that all three bills go to the house for discussion so they can be passed at once. Now, another conversation we have with one of the lawmakers, he was uh, very point blank. He said that the, 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 the stealing that is going on in the House of the Representative is it can be characterized like uh, 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 the, the, the habit of the cat. If you look at the cat, cat are animals who always act innocent. Even a cat will go and eat feces or do something or steal fish in the park. You, when you look at the cat, they are so innocent that like they have done absolutely nothing. That was the way he characterized the act of corruption in the house of the uh, 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 representative. They said that that's how corruption activities are taking place. People who are so in so principle minded as that it is so far there to be integrated people are uh, the one that I brought it's gonna be difficult because he alone can do all which we uh, agree with him because they have they are about well uh, as a bill and the other guy was pretty blind to tell oh is it this your that you people bring in here if there's something that had an oh, envelope yeah, yeah. on or it like this time will not be discussing this kind of a lot of issue like it has been placed on agenda for discussion can you well, imagine see. that now we are coming to advocate for our citizens to preach on anti-corruption it to be honest if this we have an envelope behind it like it has gone to the, the, the to, to 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 the house for discussion and from all point of view that's the honest truth he was telling us because the military force up to now we haven't had any of those bill any of this issue okay. discussed on the so, agenda so actually the a petition was submitted. The bills actually emulated from the executive. Uh, so what Joksa did was to present a petition through that made a telephone petition was presented to ask the lawmakers to pass on to act on the bill. And a lot of uh, the six the the 
that was submitted by the executive. But what Josa is asking for is 0770174. That's the number to call to be live on the program. In fact, you watch the current live on two bedroom. If you're in, if you are following us on Facebook, on the Interpreted TV page. So thank you for being there. Thank you for following us. And uh, please, you can leave your comments, leave your suggestions so that we can improve on this program and make it better for you and for those who are listening or following us, uh, who are always following us. So again, the number to call to be live on the program is 077 That's the number to call to be live on the program. Targeted Watch. Uh, we have uh, we blended the guest today in studio. So we have the integrated club, the integrated club, we have pregnant boy, pregnant is from the Universal Liberia, that is the integrated club at the Universal Liberia. And the uh, uh, Prince, Prince M. Taylor is from the Stella Maris Polytechnic University and she says she's the treasurer of that particular integrated club, the chapter at the Stella Maris Polytechnic University. So all of them have come into the winner to, to, to have a flavor you know, to blend the different engagements so that you understand what we do. We, we, we are diverse in how we carry on the engagements because we are aware that we cannot form area. Mm -hmm. So we have to cut it across different sectors. So if, if we want to bring the advocacy and legal advice center, the engagements they are having in different communities. And last week we were talking to our, our county field officers. They are assigned in, in six different counties in fact, seven counties must rather include uh, so the event able to get all of that. So I mean that's no one is left behind as DG says that. So we must do that so that we can fight corruption together. We've we fight corruption and we, we change the way we think we fight corruption. But if we continue to think about corruption, the way we think about it, the way they have made us to behave, we will not fight it. But that's why we always say to people, it is about the mind, the way we think. Let's change about, let's change it and see what happens. Let's change it and change our attitude. Lawrence Comlan Brooklyn. Changing mind, changing attitude. Let's go to Dax. Now, you what? know, I mean, I mean, we 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 gotta keep expressing the disappointment. Even right in the studio, I have disappointment. After all of the talk. We open the line for people to call. Well, Nobody got interest. But if we're talking one politician who has just received 30k, it's in <laughs> studio. And as we're speaking about the thing, all the while we're loving what the men to pass the bill. They are talking about another 30k because the executive has presented a request for a two percent increase of the current budget to okay. 806 million. So in that particular increase, they are going to receive 30k as a hush money, and they are receiving it now. Capital building, as I speak to you, they are receiving their 30K and going. If one of them were in studio here and talking, many of you will call because when they free taking the 30K, they go in the constituent. In the constituent, say they will buy your small thing, they will get your small thing. So you will be calling to praise them. We're talking about the thing that keeping you down there. The action of the politician, political corruption, bribery to pass bad law against you, and you don't want to call. To participate on the show, no you are dance. disappointing yourself. No, that's it's not disappointing. They, you are they, disappointing yourself, they, people. They are following, they are following Please you. call and make input because when the guys start to hear you, that you are getting very angry with your behavior and you are moving towards the point where you will soon move on them, mm -hmm. they will get they will be afraid of acting against your interest or you're not participating. So yeah, they feel yeah. our effort here, like they're wasting water they're on actually, Dover. Actually are you following. overwhelmed with the public perception that we can't kill corruption with them for it? They are actually following. Don't they, will continue, they will continue to follow. We cannot, we cannot, uh, we cannot do this with anger. We can do it by persuasive engagement. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just overwhelming, we you know. If you have gotten used to a particular stem and Everything that about that system has been this is okay. Let's say, for instance, Christians, we believe that the Bible mm -hmm. does everything for us. Mm -hmm. So we, to the extent that we want to use the Bible to to to, to for battle, spiritual battle, we use the Bible. We find the Bible to be the one that we're using to fight battle. Mm -hmm. 
but we are not making the followers to believe that it is someone who is working through that Bible. It's not the Bible that is working. It is yeah. someone who is working through that Bible. Yeah. And let the people believe in God rather than the Bible. Then the Bible. So if you make the people to believe the Bible to be the one that is doing everything, then it becomes a difficult thing to change the mind that it is not the Bible that is working, but it is God that is working through that Bible. <laughs> so that's the same thing we are doing with the fight against corruption. In Liberia, we've been made to believe that the way of life is... So for you to change that mindset that no, you can live a very clean life, you can live an integral life, and then you can you can still progress. So that change, it will take us time. It will take us more persuasiveness. It will take us more engagement. That is the reason why we, as the Center for Transparency and Accountability in Liberia, we don't get discouraged when these things happen. Because we we get into community and we get feedback from the communities. We get into uh, uh, in the marketplaces and we get feedback from the marketplace. They have made them made to be corrupt. Yes, we believe we know that this system is corrupt because the individual who runs the system they. Corrupt, but if the individuals can change the way they think about the system, they can work on the system Absolutely. and make the system better. It is the individual thing that we are doing. That is what we are doing. So that's why I said, show that we push the message. There will be term transformation will take, and the transformations are taking place to show people say this is what I will, that we have done. No, to no, show no. your to show your progress, but your progress will be shown by the attitude that are going to be changed from the from the public. So I, I will encourage you: do not get discouraged. Please keep on the engagements. Please go to the communities. Even if you get in the community, there will be hostile uh, audiences that you have you have to engage with. They will bring these things to you. But the only thing that you have to do to them is to always tell them that you know, if we can do, we can build cities from our minds. What else can we not do from our minds? So if we want to fight corruption, let us just think, change the way we think, and then we can be able to fight corruption and make life a better place. The program is in Targeted Watch. It's a one hour radio program brought to you by the Center for Transparency. <laughs> and we are done, That's a disappointing thing about it. I wish we had more time. So <laughs> like, the, the, like the whole cell, we need to persuade you to participate in the fight against corruption. Then we start using the persuasion now. <laughs> yeah, but we all the time. So when you watch the festival, we ask you to draw this fire, oh, draw the fire. Are they team making medicine not in the hospital? Are they team making the road not properly built? Are they team making when there is enough food in the country? Oh, the fighting war and all here in this. Ukraine, they are fighting all your corruption. They eat it all. Are they team making it all? No community, everybody else, who's on floor? Then thinking about it. Some children ain't go to school today because their school so so water in the school. I don't think business of people even just see to plan their year. It depending on food. Cool, well, lastly, okay. I just want to say this that we from the Joint Civil Society and the Prophet Initiative want the voice of the legislature to be objective. We are coming to election. They have been there for six years. They have been using public finances. And it is based in our law from the uh, 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 financial uh, management, uh, private financial management act. If you use government funding, you are uh, uh, liable to audit and let the horse open their arms to audit before we go to election. We will continue our engagement with GACC coordinating from that end and whatever that needs to be done, whatever requirement you have to yes. So they can do the audit before next year election. We want to know exactly for the past six years what have they been able to do with the uh, government funding, whatever revenue that we generate. Let tell us how it has been used and who uses it and for what purpose. What I will make for the purpose that we will make for whatever we use for that, that direction. We want to know. Thank you. That's, that's, that's so that's it. When public comes to pass, since the territory of May up to now, they have not acted. We come here to inform you that all of our efforts to see the wasting the water on the land. We are not discouraged. But we are asking you to join the fight. If you join the fight and we increase the awareness against corruption, I think we can live. Fight.
Yeah. We can contain those guys we give power to and then fight the fight and have the victory again. We're just talking that. <laughs> Okay, let's go to Perkins and uh, uh, Chris. Uh, Chris, let's hear you. What's next uh, for the Okay. Um, let's just say to recommend for a sister or for interactive floor. Okay. Yes. Okay. We talk about corruption policy. We should put the policy in every institution to cover corruption in the school effort and make ethics. Yes. To include integrity building or corruption awareness in the curriculum. Yeah. Okay. The national curriculum should carry the issue about integrity building awareness and corruption, you know, anti corruption messages in education. Let's go to Peking. Yeah, thank you. Thank you again, uh, Sam, for the opportunity. And as for our recommendation, okay. one, or uh, as well as part of our plans, because we normally, uh, as far as Central Nimas program, we erect billboards okay. at uh, various universities. Bulletins? Uh, yeah, bulletins. Oh. Like right? Oh, okay. So, yeah, we erect billboards. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. so we have not done ours. So um, we are hoping to do it as soon as possible because one of the agents was uh, our university was closed for a very long time, and so sometimes we do it in the plan that we have. So we, we are focused that in the coming months we will be able to read or uh, integrate those billboards at our campuses. Yeah. Let, let me get to you. Um, you are challenged and you are part of this integrity club mm -hmm. and you going to. Well, it brings about further motivation because, like, what are what are normally show and some of the concerns um, that some of the other police were making that uh, that does not involve, um, even though Sita is saying that um, there should be inclusion in terms of fight, uh, no one should be left behind, but then um, they are not. Like doing music, right? But now we understand that Santa over uh, like over eight persons with disability. Mm -hmm. That is part of the current campaign in And you know that persons with disability are the are the most uh uh discriminated, you know, group in our society and they use mm -hmm. the feel the pain of our things, right? Because as we look at the society today, we um, almost like we now watch factor in 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 in, in um in the society and there are not much opportunity I was I was I was um scope of getting much opportunities limited right because the society is not uh, it's not framed in a way that we have much more opportunity for people to do. So since we involved in the in the current draft in, uh, in the task current campaign you know to end or to fight for Russia. Uh, we're going to elevate our voices more in terms of uh, the impasse that I was telling you that one of the things is um, textbook. Sometimes we use your education to pass textbook. We come to pass textbook for people in You know, so these are things that we start to elevate and we start to bring and see how best we can make it happen. And that's from the universal idea and issue of access to that issue. For persons with disabilities, yeah, for persons with disabilities are issues. So as we are giving this platform to help ourselves, we can be involved in the rest of it. We believe that um, some changes will be made because the agreement for that is that we can change this. Okay, so Perkins is, uh, if, uh, I think he's the head of the uh, students with yeah. disabilities at the at University the of Liberia, Liberia. Yeah. and they've been pushing for access to classes, the classes. access to the learning environment at the university and they want that to you know, go out and Perkins have been part of the integrity club they've been going out to engage to engage with students and trying to encourage or to encourage students and motivate them that mm -hmm. your, your disability is not being trying to yeah. get it Integrity Watch is the one hour radio program brought to you by the Center for Transparency and Accounting in Liberia. It is aired every Wednesday on Truth 96.1 FM. 
in studio to, with me today has been uh, <clears throat> um, uh, Amos, Amos Samukai, he's from Joksa, he's chair of Joksa. Das Elliot is mm. also a member of Joksa. Beckins Boy is from the University of Liberia Art Club. Chris uh, Taylor is from the uh, Celebrate. I'm the media and 